Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Are you ready to have some fun and read? Awesome. Okay, go ahead and get comfortable in your favorite spot, and let's see what we're going to read today. Today we're reading Hadi Hippo, written by Christine Loomis, and pictures by Robert Newbecker. Today in our book, Hattie Hippo, we read four short stories about the playful and hungry Hattie. She starts off at the ballet and ends with hide and seek. Let's see what happens. Our first story is the ballet. Hattie Hippo pirouettes on teensy tiny toes. In dazzling, pearly, perfect teeth, she holds a pale pink rose. She whirls. She twirls. She leaps up high to Rhino's waiting smile. Oops, teeny prima ballerina misses by a mile. Next story is the tea party. Hattie Hippo makes a pot of cherry berry tea. She bakes a cake and lays a cloth. Underneath a tree Her guests arrive and wait and wait without a crumb or cup. Oops, Hattie Hippo ate the cake and drank the tea all up. Next we have the swimming pool. Hattie Hippo fills the pool, grabs a snorkel and a mask, squeezing into last year's suit is an exhausting task. She takes a step and holds her breath, balances on one dainty toe. Then Hattie boldly cannonballs. Oops, where did the water go? Our last story, Hide and Seek. Ready or not, Mama calls. Where can Hattie be? Behind the door? Behind the stairs? Beside the couch? Up in a tree? Hattie is good at hiding. She doesn't make a peep. Aha! I found you, Mama says. But Hattie is fast asleep. That Hattie Hippo sure is talented. She can dance, bake, swim, and definitely eat. But I think she is the best at hide and seek. 
Where was the best hiding spot you ever had? Hello? Are you still there? Oh, you're hiding. Okay, ready or not, here I come. Thanks for spending time with me today. If you liked this video and want to see more, please ask your parents to click the subscribe button. I'll post a new video every Thursday. Until next time, be kind and keep reading.